Those who were COVID-19 in severe cases say they feel like they drowning. You can hear patients when they struggle to breathe. The ventilators often often oxygen. That's why they are in high demand. By critical care, doctors say that many patients placed on these machines won't survive. Chinese researchers studying critically ill patients on ventilators in Wuhan found in a group of 32, only one person survived. Another study in Wuhan suggests about 20% of patients of ventilators recovered. There are risks both to the patients and to the healthcare worker who is involved. Doctors and nurses can be sprayed with viruses when placing the patient on ventilator. A delicate part of their job is to carefully guide a scope down the patient's throat, then lift a small flap of tissue to make way for a breathing tube. Once connected, the ventilator often blows in 100% oxygen. The average room air is 21%. After several days on a ventilator, high levels of oxygen can become toxic, damage the lungs, and lead to other serious complications. You gotta be very sick in order to need a ventilator, and it's gonna take a while for the patient to recover. In North America, early studies show that only very few percentage of patients are surviving, and they're usually younger without underlying health conditions. That raises the big question if you share it because that you are most likely to survive. Right now, most uh, states and provinces in the United States and Canada are developing rules that address this very concern. Hi and welcome to Powerful. On this channel, we would like to discuss financial education with a big emphasis in stock investment. If this is a topic that you're interested in, don't forget to like and to share the video and also subscribe if you want to hear more content like this. Let's get to the video. 400 million people suffer from respiratory insufficiency. 20 million ICU patients are mechanically ventilated each year, many of them unnecessarily. 50% of the world's population doesn't even have access to ICUs. Inspire Solution creates a new standard of respiratory care. The company's innovative technology elevates the blood oxygen saturation levels and offers immediate relief while the patient is fully awake, avoiding the need for mechanical ventilator ventilation MVs, this revolutionary approach extends treatment beyond the ICU, giving hope to millions. Inspira Technologies Oxy BHN LTD was founded in 2018 and has 89 employees. The company is located in Paul Tidar Street and Rahat Anna, Israel. Inspire Technologies expects to raise $70 million in their IPO today. Um, the IPO scoop reports the company plans to issue 2.8 million shares at a cost of $5.50 to $6.50 a piece. As many studies have shown, the use of mechanical ventilators may not be completely uh, beneficial to patients, especially ill and patients of advanced age and with underlying health conditions. So that's where uh, Inspire tends to uh, bridge that respiratory treatment gap. The healthcare professionals treating respiratory failure face a challenging dilemma that limits the quality of treatment they can offer to patients. They must choose between insufficient supplemental therapies with a 50% failure rate and unnecessarily high-risk mechanical ventilators. The supplemental sol uh, solutions, which include today nasal, BPAP, and CPAP uh, ventilators, 
and other therapies may keep patients awake and breathing spontaneously, but create high lung pressure, causing discomfort and best and failing to offer relief at worst. The MV treatment or the mechanical ventilator treatment path poses significant avoidable mechanical risks. It requires traumatic intubation that exposes the patient to complications, must be performed um, by numerous expert clinicians, and places the patient in a coma for an unknown period of time. The post-treatment ordeal often includes a lengthy and costly waning process during, uh, during which the patients are away from their loved ones and remain dependent on the ICU, the staff, and infrastructure. These prevalent risks are unrelated to the original cause of the respiratory failure and might have served implications that could affect the patient's health and well-being for years to come. Inspire uh, Solutions removes these risks and offer a new and innovative path that bridges the respiratory treatment gap. The solution, the ART 500 Augmented Respiratory Technology. The Inspire Breakthrough Oxygenation ART solution creates a new standard of first-line support for patients who suffer from deteriorating oxygen saturation levels. The company forms an entirely new category for treatment respiratory failure. A minimally invasive cannula is inserted into the jugular vein through a standard medical procedure that resembles a central line or an IV insertion. The system draws a liter of blood, removes CO2, and returns it highly oxygenated to their circulatory system while the patient remains awake. This simple process is based on a comprehensive portfolio of patents and innovations. It reduces the burden on patients' lungs, offering immediate relief by elevating the oxygen saturation levels within a single minute. Inspire's technology uses an automatic priming system and a user-friendly disposable cartridge. The blood circulation pump and dual lumen cannula have been designed to prevent hemolysis and thrombosis. With Inspire's solution, respiratory distress patients are comforted and receive fast, effective treatment while breathing spontaneously. This essential solution extends respiratory care beyond the ICU, reducing treatment costs by 70% and saving millions of lives each year. Inspire core technology has been proven through a series of preclinical trials. The company continues to build its patent portfolio and form collaborations with industry leaders and strategic partners in hospitals, including Shiva Hospital, the top 10 uh, hospital in the world, uh, as per Newsweek magazine. The company journeys started long before it was formally founded and its vision was born out of necessity. Uri Nusinovic, the company's co-founder and chief scientific officer, combined his medical studies with an active duty service in the Israel Defense Forces. When one of Uri's military friends suffered from pneumonia and was hospitalized in an intensive care unit, it was clear that an appropriate solution was unavailable. Witnessing a young person with no background diseases offered such invasive treatment with a high-risk complication continued to bother Uri as he joined the Israel Navy and supported the respiratory challenges of professional drivers. The need for a real and for far less invasive solutions was evident and Inspire was built to find it. One of the most interesting things and more attractive things to this company is um, their management team, which is 
obviously it's really important in all companies but we got to uh, point out here particularly this company is hated by none less than Daji Benun uh, who is a co-founder and CEO um, Digi uh, is actually the also the co-founder of nanotechnologies the company that ARK investment has so heavily endorsed for 3d printing uh, Daji is a serial entrepreneur and investor with multi-industry experience in growing companies from concept to market penetration and sales the um, other co-founder, Joy uh, Heyon, uh, who is the president also and chief uh, financial officer, has uh, an executive MGAs and strategic joint, uh, joint ventures and holds deep experience in manufacturing and setting up operations to support high growth delivery. Before uh, joining uh, Inspire, um, he was the uh, chief information officer of Placen, which is uh, a company in the defense and space sector, uh, which specializes in development and manufacture of armor and survive, uh, survivability solutions for the military and homeland security markets using composite material technologies. Um, in Israel. Yuri uh, Nusinovich, uh, who is also a doctor with a PhD degree, who is co-founder and chief scientific officer, is a board-certified ca uh, cardiologist, an ICU physician, and cardiology researcher. Uh, also, a well as a senior hyperbaric and diving physician. And finally, uh, there's Professor Bernard Goldwasser, uh, who is the chairman. Um, Professor Bernard is an uh, urologic surgeon, inventor, and entrepreneur, and a venture capital investor with vast experience in leading high growth, publicly traded uh, medical companies. On February 17, 2029, Shiva. Um, the top 10 hospital in the world in Israel uh, announced that they had partnered with Inspire Technologies to implement respiratory treatment for COVID-19 uh, patients. Israel Shiva's Medical Center is partnering with uh, the local startup Inspire Technology to test out its new respiratory treatment for severely ill COVID-19 patients who are suffering from acute breathing difficulties. One of the most severe symptoms of the coronavirus COVID-19 is breathing difficulties as the virus attacks the lungs. As part of the collaboration, the intensive care unit of the Department of Cardiac Surgery of Shiva will use Inspire Augmented Respiratory Treatment Art to critically ill COVID-19 patients. And this is where this is extremely, extremely important because um, some analysts, uh, when they look at uh, this company, they um, have little faith because they're not FDA approved uh, studies in the United States. I'm not going to say who cares, but uh, hello. This company is partnered with the top 10 hospital in the world. There are going to be thousands of hospitals in the United States that are not as good as the one they uh, just partnered with in Israel. And they are being allowed to test their machines on uh, actual patients who require this, this assistance. I'm not a doctor myself. I don't know what implications does this carry, how this... Uh, company could have directly um, partnered with this hospital. I know the hospital, when you read Shiva, they actually innovators in in, uh, in medical care and that's what they top 10. So they have partnered with this. This obviously had the support and probably they have uh, uh, the confidence that this product and this system 
is uh, a real-time solution uh, to the point that they are implemented, uh, they have implemented it um, during treatment of COVID-19 in Israel. This gives me a lot of hope for this company and not extremely bullish for it because, again, it's not just because the company is good in Israel, the company has to also prove that it can work, obviously, and go through uh, patent uh, in the United States and FDA approvals in the United States in order for this machine to work here. But uh, I think it gives them a really important advantage having already proven a, in such an important um, area in, say, country that their machine is, is, is working. And even though this is a great company with great potential, uh, the addressable uh, I'm sorry, the compound annual growth rate of the sector is only 4.9%. I always would like to see something more into the tenths and tens or twenties percent or even more. Uh, and that is including the 2020 to 2021 demand, which is obviously unusual. So the growth for this type of product and this company is not massive that we need to tell, even though it's a great product. There are a lot of uh, competition in, in uh, Inspire. Inspire is competing with or against Boston Scientific, which is one of the cheapest uh, stocks you can buy in the sector. Um, also, ResMed, which is around uh, $194. Uh, Boston Scientific is only $38, trading for $38. But most of the companies here, Massimo is $234, and so is Beckton, $244, and so is... Uh, uh, Chart Industries, which is 147, Medtronic, which is one of the most popular here in the U.S. for 119 dollars, Siemens only 27 dollars, which, uh, which I believe is the cheapest of all the sector, and then there is Baxter for 85 dollars and 18 cents. Now this company gets a share of the market, and uh, their capitalization grows and. In accordance to their future revenues, sales, um, this could be a very good player on the sector. So if the company at any point trades into the one two dollars, which I, um, I have the feeling may go to these levels, then I will go ahead and low me. So what I'm gonna I'm gonna follow up on this company, um, and I would probably. Uh, produce another video once uh, once is it time for me to buy of course i wouldn't mind to buy a um, couple of stocks 10 stocks maybe maybe a hundred dollars in stocks just to keep it in tracking it's easier sometimes for me just to track in what they are in my portfolio i'm pretty sure they will go down go down if you don't have a perspective of a high growth in long term then you wouldn't mind to go to a certain level even though to me it would be better just to wait until that happens at which point i would open a more serious position with a obviously expected higher growth uh perspective uh i have to say that i have uh started to be very confident and hopeful on the development and success of many israeli companies uh, there are two things that could happen here. Obviously, one could be that even um, Ark would tap into this company, and one would say, why would it be? It is not a completely disrupted uh, product or service, but uh, the big fake comes in the Israeli um, companies they have uh, done remarkably here, and we cannot forget about uh, Pfeiffer, um, also ways the maps which was purchased eventually by google which is the one that i actually use i don't use much google maps and the nano dimension and even wix.com which is a very successful company um worldwide to create websites okay so for now i will just leave you with this remember this is not financial advice this is just my experience and my likes on this company um I hope that you found value on this in this video. If you did, please go ahead and tap uh, the subscribe and the notification bell so you get notified first once I uh, post more material. Now, go ahead and invest 
intelligently.